Israeli aircraft have struck Hamas government buildings in Gaza, including the offices of Prime Minister Ismail Haniya, after overnight airstrikes. This comes after Israel's cabinet gave the go-ahead to call up 75,000 reservists for a possible ground invasion in response to Palestinian militants firing towards the country. Despite the violence, Tunisia's Foreign Minister Rafik Abdeslam visited the Gaza Strip. This comes just a day after Egypt's Prime Minister Hisham Kandil's trip to the area, showing growing solidarity since the Arab uprisings across the region. Israel should know that the world is changing and a lot of water has gone under the bridge. Also in Arab countries, Israel can't continue to use force. It's not above the law and has no special protection. It's not above international law and we condemn their action. Since Wednesday, when Israel killed Hamas's military chief, officials say over 30 Palestinians have died, including several children. Three Israelis were killed in a rocket attack on Thursday. U.S. President Barack Obama has spoken with both Egypt's President Mohamed Morsi commending his efforts to start negotiating a truce, while discussing ways of de-escalating the situation with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Palestinian militants have fired hundreds of rockets in response to the Israeli air campaign. This has disrupted life across southern Israel, including in the town of Bertuvia. Hamas claimed responsibility for firing at Tel Aviv's commercial centre and for the first time in decades at Jerusalem. The last time a Palestinian rocket hit the city was in 1970.